Okay, the next in our series of short videos looking at key diagrams for your A-level economics papers looks at one of the key uh, business objectives, namely sales maximization. So here's our scenario with a firm uh, in imperfect competition facing downward sloping revenue curves and uh, short-term cost curves. So marginal and average costs, marginal and average revenue. Now, we're going to focus here on sales maximization as a business objective. Sales maximization is the idea of trying to produce the highest output you can, but consistent with or constrained by the need to cover your costs and those costs we assume to include an element of normal profit. So the key is to find an output where the price per unit that you're selling the product for equals the cost per unit. So sales maximization occurs here where average revenue intersects with average cost at this Output, this price, you are covering your cost and you're achieving the highest output consistent with making normal profits. And often we associate this objective with firms that are looking to grow their market share. Uh, maybe uh, they just, they just, the, the, the managers, uh, their remuneration is based on some sort of growth of output target and so on and so forth. That is sales maximization, where average cost equals average revenue. Now contrast that with profit maximization, where marginal cost meets marginal revenue, which will be output Q2. And of course that uh, output then allows the firm to charge a higher price, P2. Uh, output is lower, you can move up the demand curve and charge a higher unit price. And at this output Q2, the price we're charging is P2. There's the average cost per unit AC2, and therefore the firm can make some high levels of supernormal profit, which I've shaded in green in my diagram. So what we have in this diagram is two of the key objectives, profit maximization, output Q2, sales maximization, output Q1. So hopefully this diagram is useful in terms of just understanding which bits to draw correctly. Growth maximization occurs when average revenue equals average cost or price equals average cost. At this output and price, the firm is achieving normal profit. That's the minimum profit they need to stay in an industry in the long run. So it's the highest output consistent with that requirement. And growth maximization has welfare consequences. So typically, uh, firms that are looking to grow their business, grow their sales, they often cut their prices for consumers. Certainly in the short term, consumers may get a better deal. And we can show this in an analysis diagram uh, by labelling, for example, the area of consumer surplus. You might want to go back and take a screenshot of the, of the diagram and then see if you can find the area of consumer surplus. But equally, growth maximisation could also be a tactic to increase a firm's market share. And if a firm can achieve that successfully, then it will give them greater monopoly pricing power in the long run. So in theory, that might give them even uh, more latitude and freedom to raise prices going forward, uh, which obviously would have implications for consumer welfare. In the next diagram, if you're following this little series, we're going to look at the key diagram for profit satisficing. 